last November, Fox and Friends co-host Ainsley Earhart and her husband welcomed their beautiful daughter Hayden into the world. This November, they not only celebrated a first birthday, but also a new book by Ainsley entitled Take Heart, My Child, A Mother's Dream. It is described as a personal note to her daughter. Last night, Megan sat down with Ainsley to find out the story behind the book. Great to see you, Ainsley. Congrats on the Thank book success. You. This is so beautiful. I, as a mother of three children, was extremely moved by this. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I'm a little jaded when it comes to the children's books now. I'm like, whatever, nice try. Uh, this one, I was like, oh, oh really? Yes, I feel it too. Yes. Thank you. And I defy any mother out there or father to, not to feel a little verklempt upon reading this. You say your inspiration was your own dad and the notes he left for you as a kid. It was amazing because this book, I went into the publisher with a book about my dog and they were like, Ainsley, <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself. And I started telling them about my mom was a school teacher. She went to work at seven o'clock in the morning. So dad was in charge of breakfast, did the Mickey Mouse pancakes, did, you know, the smiley face with the banana, with the peanut butter, and always had a note next to our cereal bowl with some sort of a scripture or a saying or some sort of a, a famous quote and they really resonated with us and at the time we were like dad come on really another quote like can't we just have our breakfast but as we got older obviously they they've just been a part of our lives so it's really cool to see this book take off because we're, we're just an ordinary family from South Carolina Megan I, mean, I, I love the examples you give though because the one that stood out to me was nothing good ever happens after midnight that's exactly right <laughs> girls and boys that? remember that <laughs> just get home this is, this is not worth it whatever it is but this is your own writing and it's to your baby and i just want to take the viewers through, through a couple of the quotes because okay, i do great. think they're so beautiful because there's a lesson in each one of these on these pages here's one that you write may you take the high road though the road may be long mm -hmm. pledge to follow your heart so your heart will go, grow strong and if you stumble or the path grows too steep, take heart, my child. Trust yourself. Take that leap. Just the encouragement, which is so hard to do to a little baby who's one, right. and then it's even hard to do to little babies who are seven, five, and three like mine are, or 16, 18, and 20, to go, mm -hmm. to, to go and do mm -hmm. it. And even the thought of it can be heartbreaking. But in today's day and age, with all the helicopter parenting we're having, it's a good reminder. Absolutely. Well, you know, it's, it's hard to let our little pure, innocent, little young ones take that leap. But you know, they're going to fall down even when they're learning to walk at Hayden's age at one years old or when they're 30 years old and they're taking a leap, maybe a career leap or um, some other, maybe marrying someone. Sometimes it's hard to let them go and do that. But I know in my experience, when I'm in the valley, I know the mountain is right around the corner. And when you're on top of that mountain and you look down and you see the valley, you know what it took to get there. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's hard as a parent to let your children do that. But this book shows my parents all. Oh, there's precious little hate. Look at that face. <laughs> I want to kiss that face. She's the all-American baby there. Oh. That was Fourth of July. But anyway, uh, you know, this book, it, it's sharing with my daughter and children around the world what my dad taught us. And it was take that leap. Never be afraid to fail. That's what Walt Disney said. And dad loved that one. Um, if you don't like your course, you can always change it. This is not a dress rehearsal. You only have one life. And if you're not going to be in charge of it, someone else will. So you own your life and you make, make decisions for yourself. What about, I mean, now you're a working mom, yeah. right? Just like me. And I, I also have a book out, which the viewers have heard about right now. Congratulations on your success. Too. Thank you to you too, love. But it's called Settle for More. And in it, I have a chapter uh, on having it all mm -hmm. and how it, it is tough to balance life as a working mom. And this isn't particular to moms it were, as a working parent, but as a working mom with young children and that pull you feel to be better at both. Right. You feel like you're not good at anything because you're spread thin. Mm -hmm. The good thing about my career or my job is it's the morning show. So I can nap when she naps, mm -hmm. but I have the whole day with her. I mean, I was in music class with her at the beginning of the week and it was awesome. And I kept during the morning show. I love my job, but I looked so forward to doing music class with her. So I'm very fortunate because my schedule does allow me to spend a lot of time with her. Yeah, that's right. And uh, she obviously looks the better for it. Look how happy they look. How beautiful they are. Ainsley, Thank I'm thrilled. You. For you. Thank you. The for book's doing great. It's been fun viewers. to watch it. Thank Love you. little Hayden. Don't we have the best view? Fox fans, Fox viewers are just the best. They've yes. supported us. Yes. They buy our books. We really appreciate that. They care about us, and it's it's just been an awesome experience. Well, let me tell you something. So I've been out all over hell and gone promoting my book, Settle for More, and and nothing, nothing sells books like the Fox News Channel and the viewers who are so loyal to us, so supportive of us through thick and thin, and we appreciate them more than they know. And